Chicago cult filmmaker Eric Larson makes his movies on a shoestring by using Super 8 film and hiring his friends as actors. We took a meeting with him at the premiere party for his new feature, Meter Girls. Excuse me, sir. You're not Eric Larson, are you? I am. You're Eric Larson? Yes, I am. Oh. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello. And, and what's going on back here? Well, we're having a big video release party for Meter Girls. We have all of our actors here. I play Trish Vanderplop. If Mrs. Schnitzel finds out that you're in here with him when you're supposed to be working, I'm on break. Is there, is there any gratuitous nudity in Eric's films? I mean, it's, it's pretty clean stuff, right? Uh, that, that stuff was cut out. <laughs> How long have you been making movies? Uh, about 15 years, actually. Uh-huh. This is, uh, this is Smudge. Hi, Smudge. Hi. Hi. Are you being my friend? Uh -huh. Can I come with you? Do you have a car? Is she in the current film, Eric? Uh, no, she just happened to be here. How much money did you spend on this film? I spent about $5,000 on this. It's a two-hour feature. And, uh... Out of your own pocket? Out of my own pocket. I'm going to be leaving soon to join a concert. And what? You've been compared to uh, to John Waters, right? Right. right. Yeah. That's that's what they tell me. Um, I just I don't know. My friends and I just like to get together and do crazy things. How was how was Meter Girls inspired? A lot of it came about because I really wanted to see Gabby play a pimp. I play Mrs. Schnitzel. Mrs. Schnitzel. Yeah. I'm the madam who takes care of my lovely girls, but they can't upset me or make me mad, because when I get angry, you'll see everything explode. Ironically enough, Miss Willis, our business caters to men. A catering business? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to cook. Definitely write your films for your friends with them in mind. Most of the people who have been in the movies have been in them for the last 15 years. Um, Uncle Alice, Christine, Linda, uh, Carrie Dewey, Jilly. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In most of his films, there's some sort of eating scene. Dad sure does love his iced tea. Mm -hmm. I play C.C. Hornet. C.C. Hornet. C.C. Hornet. Much to the disdain of the actual meter girls, I am giving it away in the film. C.C. lives up to her name. Is that what you're telling us? C.C. C.C. Everything about you says yes. Is that... <laughs> tell, tell me this. Talk to me after the show. Yes. <laughs> what are some of your other movies? Um, I've done Graham Crackers, Problem Child, Lost, uh, Nutcracker, uh, Deranged Daughter of Daphne Dickinson. That was about a, a girl, her mother was going to send her to a psychiatrist and ended up instead being eaten by a leftover tongue sandwich. They keep me in the basement. That's sort of sad, isn't it? You're cute. I was in Lost, the film before Meter Girls. What was the plot of that one? Well, uh, Uncle Alice was just having a really bad day and somehow ended up in a pink gorilla suit. Where do you hope to go with this career? I mean, is it just always going to be a sort of a sidelight for you, or, or do you hope to maybe make a living at it one day? I'd love to make a living, but if I don't, as, as long as we can all keep having fun, that's what it's all about. Boy, that sounds like a great tagline for a segment. Eric, if somebody wants to see Meter Girls, what should they do? Look for it at a video store near you, or if they don't have it, you can order direct from Emphasis Entertainment. Phone number? Area code 630-355-5762. Thanks, everybody. You're all stars in my book. Yeah.